So this is the name of our machine learning board. It's, it's going to be called BrainCraft. BrainCraft. Because it's craft and it's like it's brains and like so we're yes. like okay. So here here's the idea. It's better um, than the yes no machine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're inside of this oh, machine yeah, learning brain. We're so oh. brain. yeah, here we are. Hey, look at us. Um, so this might be the shape of the board, but um, Lamar, you have a piece of paper here. Yeah. So um, this is where I write the. So, so Pete, you wait. You can wave a magic wand, and there's this this MIT engineer sitting here. Yes. What so do you, I'm wearing a MIT what, shirt. What do you want? What <laughs> do you, there's a light shirt. What do you want on a machine learning board? What, For what, what microcontrollers. You, so loads of sensors. Lots, loads, of loads of sensors. Of, loads. Oh wait, hold on. I'm taking the so loads, loads of sensors. Could they be connected via little, you know, these these type of cables? Like you just which, put whatever which, ones you want. Yeah. Could they be plug or should they be okay. attached? And which ones are the most important? You think? So, um, I think having image sensors. Image sensors. So like is a, really useful. So okay. that's like a camera. Yeah, like a camera. Okay. But <laughs> like yeah, a Panasonic so grid eye. We call those like, cameras. It could, yes. be, it could be a heat sensitive camera. Yeah, well that's okay. that's what I'm thinking. And camera okay. and you know, one of the reasons we talk about image sensors is because hey yeah, you think about them as cameras, but then you think about oh I'm taking photos. Yeah. Whereas actually if you've got machine learning you can turn that image sensor into a hey is there a person in front of me sensor. Yes. Yeah. So it sort okay. of becomes. This. It's true. It is a camera image, and I'm not okay. saying you're wrong. I just think. Yeah, it's, no, no. It's, it's, it's funny. It's the way, okay. the way my. Okay, what other sensors? All right, what else? You, what other sensors? Um, so microphones, microphones, obviously, because yes. we've seen. Do you need two or is one okay? No, one's perfectly one's fine. fine. Microphone. Right. Yes. I'm gonna cross out that S. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, accelerometers. Accelerometer. So that's actually, one of the videos we're gonna show at the end. We have a we found oh, a really cool. good low cost accelerometer. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. What else? Um, so what have you got? <laughs> oh, well, have you got what, what would you do? What would you do with an accelerometer? Why is that? Um, so actually, um, there's all sorts of things. So one of the things that's gestures. really cool is yeah, gestures. Okay. Um, also, if you've got like a piece of machinery that's like shaking itself to bits, yeah. yeah, you can actually use machine learning to do like predictive maintenance. Yeah. And spot when things are starting to go wrong, yeah. like when a bearing is starting yeah. to. Yeah. One of the best machine loose. learning projects I saw was someone modified their power saw so right before a kickback. It yeah. would turn the blade off, ah. and the way they did that was to use it over and over and over to, and that was the training until it yeah. kicked back over and over. So it was speed, and it was the tilt. Ah. And so what happened was eventually they're like, you know what? When I when I, now when I use it, it'll cut it, it'll turn itself off before it kicks back. Yeah, it was yeah. like that's exact. And, and I was just like, why aren't the tool companies doing it? They're just they're not they're not doing electronics and machine learning. Yeah. So okay. Well, okay. So and that, I really one of the things I actually really want to do with microphones is the text screens. Screams. Yeah. So that you could actually just power off oh, that's any good machinery. Idea. Any it's, machinery just yeah. screaming. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, good for pranks, but also good for safety. Cause yeah, like someone just screams and just like the well, thing turns off. a scream off. that you want. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So there's there's inputs. The inputs are image sensor, camera, microphone, sound. So what about outputs? What kind of outputs so, would you like? So uh, screen and microphone. Oh, sorry, screen and speakers. Screen. Um, okay. So you want screen. So like one okay. of those screens that yeah. we just showed, maybe. Yeah. That what, would be do awesome. you have big or like is it? I don't know. No, I'm. No, he has no really, idea. Question mark. Yeah. Yeah. Do you need like a touch screen on it, or do you want it just to be a? Dis I mean that I am on the machine learning side. Uh, I really see the screen as more just um, like giving feedback. Feedback. So, so yeah. like I like the badge project we did, where it's like you get to see what it's telling you, what's going on. Yeah. Or like if things don't work out. Okay. Yeah. So it. screen. What else? Uh, Outputs. So speaker. Speaker. You want okay. it to be able to chat back to you. Okay. If you Got chat that. to it. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> yes. No. Okay. What um, are the outputs? So I think having something like we were talking about, you know, controlling like um, DC re or an AC DC relay or something okay. like that. Relay. So, relay. Yeah. So some kind of, you know, something where yeah. you can What's actually What's great is, you're, you know, the badge can kind of all do this right now with a feather yeah. connector. So good work, you. Okay. All right. So you just have to like make this look like a brain. Yeah. All right. All right. So inputs are image sensor camera, microphone accelerometer, and the output is screen for debugging, a speaker so you can like speak back to you, and like maybe a relay actuator type thing. The other thing that you know, I don't know as much about this as I'd like to, but yeah. um, have you looked at like NB, like IoT, like sort of the narrow band yeah. IoT? Yeah. Yeah. The of low cost data. Low, low cost data. Slow on, data. Like, yeah. Um, so you want something that you can add, you can plug that in, and now it has narrow band. Yeah, yeah. So you can just kind of like, like, like mm, narrow band cellular. Yeah. So yeah, you want yeah. So you don't have to do some like the wireless setup. wireless flexibility. Yeah, exactly. So capability. You can, so you can put these up in the world, yeah. and they can like 
you know, oh, I saw a person but, on the... But keep it yeah. in the low-power world. Like, it has yeah. to be... It can yeah. sleep and wake up. It's so like 3G, and, yeah. probably not. But yeah. narrowband yeah. IoT, which is making its way across the country. Yeah, okay. All right. What else you want? What else? We're probably going to do this, so you're going to... Oh. Yeah. We're in the uh, brain. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we can't get out of this brain until <laughs> we have I all can't all leave this brain. Until the feature set is finished. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's... Uh, Part of it is, I guess, what we're thinking about for the power budget. Yeah. Because obviously, like, so you know, once you power. get into screen, yeah, because I, you know, one of my big things is I want these to be out in, like, you know, in fields, like, helping farmers kind of tell when pests are there so they can, yeah. like, you know, reduce the amount of pesticides they use and, like, you know, yeah, anything yeah. we can do. So anything we can do around, like, energy harvesting, like, being able to have, like, a, a so solar, solar add-on. Yeah. Solar add-on. Yeah. So battery power, maybe... Yeah. solar capability. The more yeah. made a really good solar charger, and I, I feel like that might be a way that we can, you know, yeah. like, whatever type of garbage power we're getting in, like, who cares? Yeah. It just kind of can, like, it's just like, okay, whatever, I got it. Like, yeah. yeah. So something that's that's okay with taking in not such great power. Yeah. Like, sometimes it's solar, sometimes it's on the grid. Okay. Okay. I think that's enough to get started with. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. Okay. Right. Don't and, let me out of his brain. It, okay. Okay, and BrainCraft, I think, I think we're gonna go with that because I think there's too many words that have machine learning, yeah. and tensor in it, and like, yeah, no, no, too many people don't. are so this is it. Yeah, I worked for a company a long time ago called BrainCraft, and and now I have the domain name and the trademark. So and now you're always wondering what we're gonna do with it. I was, like, I was I thought it was gonna be for like crafting, but then like fi when machine learning stuff came along, and like one day we're gonna have a BrainCraft. Well, it makes sense because you craft models. You're crafting right? little it's like brains. Model making. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So okay. All right. All right, and that is top secret. That's how we do product development now. <laughs>